Back at the book segment tonight, according to a group called Campus Reform, liberals will outnumber conservatives about four to one, giving college commencement addresses this year. And that imbalance has been going on for years. People seem ready to believe almost anything. God, for example. It's shocking how many Americans swallow that old story. This is America. There's nothing wrong with competitive people wanting to win. Just do it with compassion and perspective, not like a Republican. You are the most diverse class in Northeastern's history. In other words, you are Donald Trump's worst nightmare. You're about to graduate into a complex and borderless world. Interesting, the Secretary of State seems to have no trouble with a, quote, borderless world. And now to explain further, Fox News anchor Martha McCallum. So first of all, what's campus reform? What's the group? Uh, they're a campus reform community, and they, they're a watchdog, basically, for what goes on in college campuses. We've had them on our show several times. Uh, you know, they are basically watching for political, politically correct behavior on campuses that they want to call out. They Is do it a, a conservative good job of it. group, campus you know, reform? Uh, they do lean conservative. They're looking for thought diversity on campus. You know, it's interesting that John Kerry was sort of heralding the diversity of the student body that he was speaking to, and yet he didn't seem to want to open himself up to any political thought diversity on campus at all. And you just love the rapport between, you know, these kind of jokes about Donald Trump at a, at a college commencement ceremony that just, you know, land with the acceptance that everybody's going to laugh in that room. But there are when they do. There. Yeah, but the, there are kids on campuses who feel underrepresented in these situations. And if it were four to one the other way around, yeah. Conservative speakers to liberal speakers, you can bet there'd be people walking out of those uh, commencement speeches. Protesting and doing all that. But isn't that, I don't know if that's ever going to change, okay? I think it, the liberal academic um, mm -hmm. cabal, that's a good word, cabal, word of the day, is so entrenched, you're never going to get it any different. Um, what I object to, though, is um, what you pointed out that. If you are non-liberal, just non-liberal, you don't have to be conservative, just non-liberal, you're going to have wise guys, you know, screaming and yelling if you've ever said anything they don't like in your whole Yet the conservative people, they can't protest or they don't protest Cherry and Marr and, you know, Rushdie, how offensive is that? Rushdie gets up there and says, if you believe in God, you're an idiot. I mean, this is the commencement speaker. I mean, you know. What if, you, what if a commencement speaker, this would be interesting, get up and said, you know, all of you people should be Christians. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine what would happen? It would be all over every cable right. news network, you know, including this. Nailed to a cross, figuratively it. speaking. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. I went, several years ago, I went to a graduation ceremony, and Ben Carson was speaking. I had never seen him before. It was years ago. And I remember thinking, what an amazing background this man has. And he was talking about his upbringing and the fact that he became a surgeon and all he accomplished. The next year, I went back to the same university, and the speaker got up to give his speech, and he said, don't worry, I'm not going to do a Ben Carson on you. Which uh, school was this? It was at Bucknell University. Bucknell. Yeah. Um, and that was before Carson got into politics, exactly. right? He was just a neurosurgeon. But apparently it was seen by many in the crowd as, you know, some yeah, sort of conservative because he's a traditional guy. Did not come guy. across that way to me. Exactly. He's a traditional guy. Yeah. And so they're, uh, they're looking down their nose. Now, there doesn't seem to be any drive by college professors or administrators to change any of this. Did you see any change agents on any college campus? I mean, that's why Campus Reform is kind of a unique organization, because they are trying to push for some change on this. You know, it, it's, it's just unbelievable that you could go, you know, it's groupthink. It's intense groupthink sure. that reinforces itself, and everyone just sits there and chuckles, oh, oh isn't that funny? Um, and nobody speaks up to say, are we trying to educate people in a whole way in this university so that we're presenting, we're sending them out into the world? I mean, boy, what an awakening. And Bloomberg, Michael Bloomberg, spoke about safe spaces in a commencement speech recently, and he was booed. He was at the University of Michigan, That's right. right. And he was booed there because he was saying, look, don't be wimps. Yeah. Don't be wimps. He was telling the administration, don't bow to the pressure of safe, spa safe spaces, mm. and the kids started booing him. I'm looking at uh, John Stewart spoke at William & Mary 2004, yep. Ellen DeGeneres at Tulane in 2009, but she's not overly political, Ellen DeGeneres. Colbert at Northwestern in 2011, O'Brien, Conan O'Brien, Dartmouth 2011, Fallon, but Fallon's not political, uh, College of St. Rose 2009. So they're getting the biggest names they can get. But have you ever been invited to speak at a uh, college commencement? I have not. Really? 
No, you're but I think it would be a good idea. You're not a political person. I have a lot I've been to say invited to a the couple of times. I, I spoke at my alma mater, Marist College, but it was all about students. It was yeah. about, look, here's how you do it. You uh, exactly. pin heads. You know, don't do this if you want to be successful. It was all student centric. And I, I got one other invitation, but I forget where it was. I went down to no, the College of the Ozarks, but it wasn't a commencement. It was just like a, an assembly there. But no, they're not flooding in. You want to give students an inspiring message that gives yeah. them something as you know yeah. framework for how they should look at life. The when they're inspiring getting message that I give the students is I hold up my paycheck. Oh. Yeah. And, you know, there you That's go. inspirational. Here's how you get one of these. Exactly. Don't vote for Bernie if you want to keep it. Martha McCallum.